Hi guys, this is Duncan from Dunksweb.com. This time I'm taking a look at Opera 10.10. This version has been released in the past couple of days, and before I start, I know a lot of you are going to be typing Firefox for the win, Chrome for the win in the comments. Uh, try and be open-minded about this. There are other browsers out there. Just check them out and see if they have any use to you. But anyway, here is Opera 10.10. The main thing about this is that it comes with something called Opera Unite, which I'll demonstrate to you in just a few seconds. But this is the interface. If you see along the top, we have tabs. It's what you usually see, but if I hover, you can see we have little thumbnails. Create a new tab with this. This brings out a nice little sidebar, which I'll talk about again in just a few seconds. And over here, we have all the closed tabs. So I can actually drag this down, and you can see it a little bit more attractively. We've got little thumbnails for each of the tabs, so that's pretty cool. Now if I just open up the sidebar, you'll see we have bookmarks, we have widgets, Unite, which I'll talk about again in a few seconds, Notes, Downloads, and history you can create a new one if you wish as you can see we've got chat mail contacts if you want to go further ahead with that now at the bottom we have something called opera link which is uh, synchronizing your bookmarks through the opera service so if you install this on a new browser then you can get all your links back again opera unite which is currently enabled and something very cool called opera turbo now if you are a mobile user and you use something called Opera Mini, you'll know that Opera has certain servers that will compress data that will go down to your device so it loads quicker and takes less bandwidth and things like that. This would be very useful for netbooks. If you have a netbook um, and you're connecting it through a phone or you're connecting it through a slow connection, you can then use Opera's compression service to try and get less data down so you essentially get quicker internet access on the go. So definitely worth checking out, especially if you are near any slow connections. On the right hand side we have fit to width, we have images, so you can turn these images off and on, we have cached images and you also have Opera's nice little scaling thing where you can uh, change it to be 50% of the size and in the middle as you can see we have a nice little speed dial so this has a lot of functionality straight out of the box. So if I go onto the sidebar and show you the Unite area, so you can see we have file sharing, fridge which is as you can see sharing notes, media player, messenger photo sharing and web server. Now this is interesting. What this actually does is it takes a folder on your computer and essentially turns it into a web server. But don't think it does anything dy dynamic like PHP or anything like that. They do offer something which allows you to go for a proxy which can use your uh, installation of Apache or anything like that. But essentially this is just doing HTML files. So if you want to do some HTML coding and share this with your friends you can do that. So you simply just start it now mine's already configured to use the shared folder on my desktop, but you double click, it will show you all about it, it will give you a nice little sharing link, password protect it if you want, obviously I'll be taking this off. So you can just put, as you can see here, create an index.html file, and then you can preview it as a visitor. So you can essentially use this link to have your own basic website, you can even shorten that with the uh, .tk services or .co.cc or whichever. So it might be quite good if those of you who keep asking me that you want to host your own website on your computer, then you could always try this out. So again, file sharing, fridge, media player, messenger, and photo sharing. So a bunch of things you can try out, and they simply start as applications. Now if I go to the widgets area and just go to add, it will open up this little area here, and we'll be able to see all the different widgets that you can have. So a lot of different ones. Let's have a look at the most downloaded. Analog clock, sim aquarium, touch the sky, Facebook widget. So a bunch of different things you can enhance the functionality further inside your browser. So other than that, there's not much I can say. This is pretty much it. This is Opera. It's, it's very speedy. It's quick launching. I used it a long time ago before I discovered Firefox. And I am, I might be honest, a, a big Firefox user, mainly for the plugins and extensions and all that that you can download. But Opera is a very good contender, especially for the stuff it has out the box. And I really do like this Opera Turbo feature. And if I was to have a netbook um, in the future, then I would definitely have this on my system for when I need to link up to my mobile and connect to the web where there's hardly any signal anywhere. So it would definitely be useful to use those compression engines. Even if you're on broadband, this might even uh, speed you up a little bit as well, or if you've been capped. So this is Opera 10.10. .10. If I was to give it a rating, I'd give it a nine out of 10. It's almost there. If they had the massive community that Firefox had, it would be a 10 out of 10, but that's about it really. Thanks for watching my video. Put your opinions in the comments. Check out dunksweb.com for more reviews. Subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again.